and this is the zone game and go. So today we're going to be doing Kenna versus Rio. Um, Rio's actually tried to participate in multiple first to fives already. Um, it's been one of them. It looks like Kenna is going with the uh, Kiji, Zoro, and Luchi team. I believe this team we actually saw Kenna play with in the previous first to five, while Rio is going to be using Law, uh, Fuji, and Sabo. So I'm going to go ahead and let them know that they can go ahead and start. Okay, okay to move on. That's the little symbol there. Okay, looks like we're starting. Just remember guys, this is a first to five, and let me go ahead and tell you exactly what's happening for March. So in March, we're going to be holding another One Piece Brand Blood Tournament. I'll be actually inviting a couple of old people that participated in the uh, very first season for Burning Blood. Uh, so they'll be coming in. Not going to yet reveal who those people are. We're also doing the Admiral event, so that is going to be happening as well. So you can probably check the Admiral um, line, which will be popping up around next week, around the end of next week. Um, we'll actually give the details about that uh, particular format. So Kenna is uh, using the Shiki, uh, <laughs> my bad, the Shiki support, while Rio is using Kobe. So it's a classic Kobe uh, meta pick from Rio's side of the field. Now I understand that he wanted to, to actually play as Akiji, um, but he's not using that character, which is kind of different uh, for right now. Okay, looks like everything's pretty good in terms of connection here. Sabo going in with the basic hits. Great Flame Fist on that Akiji. Could have actually used the Logia. Probably didn't think that was actually going to pop up or not. Swapped out Fujitoro. Fuji ended up getting punished. Took a little bit of damage for his worries. Nice hit for Fujitoro. Going to start the gravity. Heavy Guard Break is going to begin to rub with the Flame Fist. Short Stun into the Unity Chain. Big damage already on Law. Love that move. Caught him with the Blade of Death. And he missed completely. Got hit in the back. That was the punishment. Ooh, no, 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 I don't think that's going to work with Akiji. Doesn't get with the flip there. Oh, no! So was going, are we going up there? Yes, we are. Yunis is going to stop that, though. That was pretty good, because he would have actually went through with that. He would have actually lost that character. So there's pretty good, um, you know, reads coming up from Kenna. I'm reading the situation, I mean. Oh, that's going to be a hit. Too bad, though. Sable was not able to connect it. Trying to use the jump. Who's going to go in with this little swing attack? Ice Ball. Who's coming in? Zoro. Yes, we are. 3,000 worlds. Can hit the tip. Right done. Not going to be the kill. It's going to be the back hit. Yudi is still saving Sabo, though. He probably wants that Sabo to actually allow. He is big damage on the side of the field. Dyer's going to actually go for another sweep. Oh, that is weird. This is weird. This is weird. This is all weird. This is too This is weird stuff from Kiji right now. Okay. Okay, counter, maybe. If we're doing weird stuff, we might as well just do the counter. So, he's just not dead out of here yet. 20% HP on his life bar. Basically, most of Kenna's characters are pretty much low, except that Luchi. And Sable, on a, on a point of view, for Rio, is also low as well. So, this is actually pretty good for uh, Kenna. If he can actually do a little bit of damage to this... Um, to this law, a little bit more damage than that, then perhaps he can make the make it even between um, the two teams. Oddly enough, um, not a single character has been KO'd, and I say this, this might be a lost death here. Okay, and a loss out of here, we're in a 3v2. Fuji Toro and Nestebo, gonna hit him with the delay, that's gonna be a unity assist to a unity clash. I'm not gonna have that character making it a 2v2, and that's good, because that Loki type character, meaning that, um, Rio no longer has to manage his hockey well against these two teams, or two characters. That's going to be a side hit on that Fujitora. He's not dead yet, but this is going to deal big damage to him. Oh, it was not. What was that? Spare gun? Weird. No, it's like Rio doesn't want any piece of that. He just went ahead and just dashed away. Oh, that was a nice, nice evasion. That's a dead character. Next character is Sabo. So unlike um, Rhea, oh, I was going to say some stuff, but it doesn't matter. Oh, he, he's off. <laughs> not dead. He's not dead, but he's going to give you the assist if, if possible. So let it be known that he can simply just uni assist Rhea to knock him out if he tries to go for a basic attack or anything like that. So he's probably have to do like a flame fist or something just to kind of knock the character out. If he does a flame fist... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mucha would have been dead. Okay. 
For you guys who do not know, tomorrow is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels Tournament being held by the Zone Game Ago. It's 10.45 CST. It is being commentated by myself and Shippy, so hopefully you can tune in that. So I wonder if Rio is going to do any character switches or anything like that. Um, seeing how that matchup really didn't go much in his favor at the very end. Now, not saying that the matchup in general was bad. He was actually doing fairly well, but once he ended up losing that wall, it pretty much all went down here from there. Fujitoro is really strong in terms of power, but he is sluggish. One of the slowest characters in the game. I know he is used by Fortune, um, maneuvering the gravity as well as the heavy guard break. And since uh, Ryo actually does have Flame Fist, he's able to use the heavy guard break, switch straight into Sabo, and use the Flame Fist. Hopefully, at that point, having Bar to go for a Unity Chain. So that's a lot of damage on his side, but that's only if he has those three bars loaded up, and that's only if all three of those characters are actually alive. So something we're probably we're probably only really going to see at the very beginning, while in the middle of the match, as well as the uh, end of the match where the anchors are basically fighting each other, um, we're not going to really see that. And in terms of anchor power, I would say that it can go either way for Rio here. Like he's this like Sabo is probably the character that he that is going to actually primarily use as the anchor pick, while um, Fuji can pretty much go in a close second. It's connecting pretty pretty decently here. It might just be our side though. Ooh, that was a good for the back hit. Nice. Nice. Yep. Good interruption. Are we going to do some flashes? No. Heavy guard break. Don't wake up too early. Good. Okay. So he's doing a really excellent job uh, basically beating the other Adam Real, trying to make him <laughs> make make mistakes here. Oh, and he got him with the ice ball. Too bad, though. He had a little bit for any of assist. We're not going to be able to see that big damage combo that Ryu has with those characters. But he was able to do a decent amount of damage to this Ikiji. This is actually going to be a kill, most likely. Didn't catch it very good, though. And already we have a 3v2 on uh, Ryu's side here. But still, <laughs> the damage is not over for Kenna. Okay, just have a special movement, bringing him in. Zoro's going to be switch out. That's actually a very good way to actually to, um, beat against uh, Sable's special movement. He has to actually switch to another character with a very good anti-air. That way you can pretty much uh, hit him on the side. So he was able to get the combo that we were talking about at the very beginning there on that Zoro. Oh, that's a bad... Oh, that's a good, good hit, actually. It became a miss. It was a miss. Hmm. Heavy guard break here. One second, everybody. Okay, so Zora right now is in his awakening, so this character's dead, actually. Never mind, he's dead. He's dead. Pretty much got him out the bar. Heavy guard break interruption coming in. Now, wasn't able to actually work that out. So Ryo has a full bar of burning gauge right now. So he is able to perform big combos on this character. This is going to be a unity chain here. Going to hit him on the side. I don't think there's really much he can really do after that, though, sadly. But still, Luchi is not out of this yet. Kenna basically uses Luchi as a pure anchor character. He's one of the first people who used Luchi as a pure anchor character. So if any Luchi can basically make this comeback, it is going to be Kenna's Luchi. Good call, knowing it. And with that chicken support, he is able to get um, ability or utilize the ability a lot far easier than what Ryo can actually do. Luchi may not have the strongest basic attack, but he has very good awesome combos. Oh, good flash guard. Oh no, this is this might actually be the ending combo. Yep. And Ryo was able to follow it up with a win of his own. So we're at 1 1 right now, guys. What's up, Larez? How are you doing? Oh, I thought I. Yeah. Oh, no, that's right. Kenna. It's Kenna. It's Kenna's room. I'm in Kenna's room. I completely forgot. So, who is in the chat, actually? Prod, prod, prod. Oh, I remember you. I remember you. Yes, you're one of the new, um, the new watchers, the new spectators. That's right. Welcome to a first to five set. This is a uh, first to five number 59, I believe. 
We've actually done a lot more first to fives, but uh, <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> we might be on like 80 or 70 by now, but I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's go. But yeah, this is high level One Piece Burning Blood action. This is the probably the highest level that you'll probably find. Not match-wise, but you know, like channel-wise. Okay, let's see if we can make him adjustments with that. Like, I'm... This video is very interesting how Rio was able to actually kind of come back on that second round. Okay, good speed. Nice, gonna interrupt it. Looks like Rio's not getting a chance to breathe. That's gonna be Ice Ball. Here comes Zoro with 3,000 worlds. Big damage here. It's gonna be a drop after this with the flash counter. It was expected, and that's gonna end. If he just had a little bit more, he could use the Unity Chain and did some big damage and 50% probably to that Zoro, but it wasn't happening. Probably gonna tag in Sabo in just a couple of seconds here just to go up against the Luchi, because that's the most optimal pick. He doesn't want Law to fight this Luchi. He doesn't want to lose his character. But still, a nice switch. Nice little combo for him. Is Sabo gonna come out? There's Sabo. Okay, this is not this is not the scary match. This is actually the ideal matchup that Rio wants is to go up against this uh, Kiji with a Sabo. Sabo has an excellent job fighting Kiji. If it comes to a 1v1, Sabo has a pretty decent chance that should KO me pretty easily. Oh, that could have been a kill actually. No switch up. Oh, got him in the back. He unbroke the Logia here. That's going to be a Flame Fist into a, a Unity Chain with <laughs> the Blind Man himself into another Flame Fist. KO'd. Oh, keep out of here. Just in case you guys didn't know, uh, Fujitower has an excellent Unity Chain that allows him to pretty much stack, stack his opponent up in the air, allowing Sabo's uh, jumping square or jumping attack to easily um, ricochet him to the wall to hit him with another Flame Fist. So it just works pretty good hand to hand. And that's going to be a, a kill off on Rio's side, so now we're at 2v2. So pretty scary here, that's going to be a back hit, that's going to be in a flame fist, and here comes Law. It's not going to be as grand as the Fujitor combo, but it is going to be a good 50% combo, or more than 50%, my bad. Almost got the back hit there. Oh, we are going to back hit. No, we're going to switch out into the Dragon Twister. Dragon Twister is an excellent uh, get off me move. It will cause the opponent to kind of back away. Thought it was gonna hash hit him in the back with that law, but we gotta remember we are in Dressrosa, which these towers are something that we have to worry about. These are hard obstacles. Yeah. That's one character down. One more to go. Flash counter, that's gonna be a fist. So now we got Zoro versus Luchi, but Rio has Bard. He has Bard actually goes to his awakening, so he has access to a good clean 80% combo from Sabo if he's able to actually get it off. But will he be able to stop this Zoro aggression? Nope, we do not have enough bar. We do not have ability, and this is basically where Kenna's uh, Tashiki pick is going to pay off. He doesn't have bar to do anything. He doesn't have any more ability, and Kenna knows this. Keeping it clean, knocking him out. Okay, and there's Kenna's second win there up on Rio. You saw right there, like, a game of One Piece Burning Blood can go either way, honestly, at that point. And I did mention, oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I did mention before that uh, Luchi is probably the ideal, well, no, I do, I do this for Rio. But Luchi is, like, the ideal anchor for Kenna, but it doesn't mean Zoro can't do it himself. Now, Kiji, not in this current matchup. I don't think Kiji is an excellent anchor in this current matchup, but I think Zoro and Luchi do excellent as well. And also, sorry about the cough, guys. I am recovering from tonsillitis, and I just kind of, like, got the sign off a couple of days ago. So if I, like, cough every now and again, that's why. But I'm good now. I'm awesome. Everything's fine. Okay. Back at Dressrosa. Mm -mm. I should really do a Dress Rosa guide. I have not done one yet. Oh, God. almost got with the Wendy. Wait. It's called Unseen Amusements. My bad. I always forget that has an actual name. We just call it Gravity. Ooh, nice jump. Sadly, I don't know which jump that is. Can't tell you. I've seen it's, it's, it's a very difficult factor to deal with sometimes. 
but it doesn't matter right now because Kenna looking like he, oh, no, he just let him go. He probably figured that that was going to be too many hits and let the character out of here. Oh, <gasps> this might be the edit for Futura. This might, he knocking out Futura already? That's a big deal. Ryo lost Fujitoro pretty early into an ice ball. Okay, didn't have enough to actually go into that. You got So one factor that Ryo has over Kenna is the Kobe support. The Kobe support makes it so you gain more ability for doing hits. The only thing wrong with that support is that it is only good if you're dealing hits. Because Ryo has been, for the most part, taking the brunt of the damage from Kenna, he hasn't really been able to utilize that Kobe support. That's one of the scariest things when dealing with with um, heavy rush down based teams is if you get rushed down so early at the beginning of the game, your support that are based around the momentum aren't going to give you that momentum because you're just going to be too far behind. And I think this is the first time, first time uh, Rio activated a uh, room with that lock. This is pretty scary here. It seems like he's confused about exactly what he can do. Okay. Oh, oh, that's great. That's grand. Okay. So we can still do things. We can load up the uh, the ability, kind of like conserve it a little bit. Oh, this is not good. He got the hit. That's an ice ball. This might be a kill. This might be a kill. Well, no, he. I thought he was gonna do. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's good. never mind. Okay, right. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, so that's three for Kenna right now, and we're still one for Rio. Yeah, that's that's the power of 3000 Worlds, man. The um, Onigiri can do an easy pickup when a person is, is leaning on the ground. Comboed well with the uh, Kiji Ice Ball is just beautiful. You just can't really do that stuff much stuff beforehand. Has to be like a raw Ice Ball. <laughs> oh yeah, Zoro is not a power character for no reason. Oh, now we're at my favorite map. I love this map so freaking much. Straight up. Okay. Remember, guys, current score, three for Kenna, one for Rio. Okay, Rio starting to strong. Heavy guard break. Let's go. Got him in the back. Well, it's a heavy guard break, so it's whatever. Okay, the red hits on the Giri. Good jump from Rio. That was a fantastic jump. Here comes the Flame Fist, and that's going to be a Uni Chain. Laws get delivered in the hit. Big damage already. Activated the room, but he's going to be hitting, <laughs> getting hit by Lucha right now. We're going up in the air. No, we're not, because we flash counter. Good connection here from Rio. Open up room. Heavy guard break. Or we're going to go for more damage. Now keeping it back. Okay. Oh, try to call the wake up. That's going to be a switch out. Here it comes. A Kiji. Weird move to actually switch in with a Kiji in, but it's whatever. I'll be very afraid here at this moment. You don't know what a Kiji's gonna do. Good counter. We're gonna swing. Do not use any of these assists. Okay, using the assist. He's not dead though. That's good. That's good. It's gonna be switch out. Here comes Sabo. I'm guessing it. I'm guessing it. It's Sabo. Oh, he's the, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, okay. One character anyway. Nice. Ooh, that's a weird angle, but he got the hit anyway. That's gonna be a KO. Good for Rio, knocking out that Luchi anchor straight away. Now you're just dealing with this Doro top back. Yeah, I think this might be another kill. Oh no, that was not gonna work. Um, just in case you guys didn't know, this is a fun fact. Um, certain characters actually. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. I did, I did a whole video on it a long time ago. Oh, we got hit! Yeah, we got hit. You need assist. This is going to actually be room two. This is good for Law Duel. 
Now we're inside room. This is going to be a mini room. We're going to deal with it. It's going to do interruption into the Pheasant Beak. That's going to be a kill. Lost out of here. So we're at a 2v2. Low HP for this Fujitoro. So he can dash out of the way. Trying to get him with a delayed reaction. But he's not going to hit. He's going to hit in the back by this Zoro. Zoro is here with a little bit of HP. But you know, Sable has the most good jump. But he got hit. He can back this up. Uh oh. You gotta remember though, this man has pure. This is think he might be dead. No, it was right. It was too many hits before him. Oh, that would have been a nice call, but sadly, it got called yourself. That's for for Kenna. So back to what I was saying. So what I was saying before, um, so if you do a range attack or you do a guard break and you bring another character in, um, it actually depends. Each character comes in doesn't come in the same way so like for example if you did your guard break with blackbeard and switched into perona perona might come it comes in further than whitebeard so when you play the game and you do that you have to actually test it out with each character um and see how when and what times they actually come in. it's weird you have you really have to actually play your character to figure it out but you can also figure it out by just you know playing against other people and Hope for the best. Oh yeah, you talking about uh, yeah, Kiji's um, poison is extremely deadly. Um, fun fact, uh, Kiji's poison <laughs> is actually the most occurring in the game. It is also uh, makes his ultimate one of the strongest. <laughs> Actually, no, I think the strongest poison, the strongest poison is actually Gecko, which is weird, but it's whatever. I guess because your shadow's gone or something like that. It's interesting to see that Ryo hasn't made any optimal plays to actually um, beat out my name around. I was like, yeah, the Kiji needs to eliminate the character. Oh, oh, I thought that would have been brilliant for him to actually go in. Six pistols here. Good combo. We're not done yet, though. Beautiful. 2000. Playing Fizz coming in with the law. So Rio has momentum right now. That's, that's the momentum. Kobe gives him that momentum. As long as he doesn't get attacked back or strike back. He should be good. Kenneth Lucy's not looking like he's gonna like give the momentum back too easily right now because we're the pretty stalemate. When it gets like this and people start taking a break, that's when the momentum is kind of shifts in between both of the players here. Okay. Now we get a 3v1, but this is Zoro. And you have three characters with low HP. Oh, only Gary kicking in. Not to mention that, that um basically Zoro does have access to a, just a little bit of burning gauge. So if he's actually able to um, get this one bar loaded up for him, he can possibly make a combat against all three of these characters just from having his burning gauge activated. Here we go. We're going to be able to get it. Dragon Twister is an excellently good off move, move especially when you're not dealing with any level type characters. But we're going air. This is not going to kill him, um, but he is probably going to be able to use his whole flank this combo into the law. So you're not going to die, but you're going to have bars well. You're going to be able to kill this character if you have not fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> and Rio was able to get two right there. So now we're at 2-4. So we're at match point for Kenna, but we're still able to actually kind of go in and give Rio the benefit of doubt, and he might actually win this. I know who that person is. And he's gone. Do 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 Hope everybody is doing good. How's everybody doing today? You know, I know you're probably not really gonna respond, but you know, think about how you're doing today. That's okay with me too. Some of you guys I haven't seen in a freaking long time. Some of you are new. Some of you are constant. 
So I hope you guys tune in tomorrow at 10 at 11 CST for the official Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels tournament commentated by myself and Shippy. This is going to be the first tournament for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels on its own game and go. Um, fun fact in the mission as well. WWE 2K um, is going to be an official game by the Zone Game and Go. That is right. WWE 2K 2020? Yeah, 2020. I said 2020. 22. Yeah, 22. <laughs> My bad. Ooh. Boom. Oh, unfortunate. Back right, kid, here we go. Onigiri. Oh, and we're in the wall too. This is this is actually fantastic. Zoro in walls is so deadly. Oh, that was so gutsy of him to actually go for that. Very opening move in his face there. Ooh, unfortunate. It's not a lot of damage that he basically took there, but it was enough to matter to Ryo's momentum. We would have got ice ball for sure. Three dozen worlds. Oh, sorry. You're not dead, but you might as well. In my opinion, um, a law that has below 30% 30, 30 HP is pretty much a dead law. I say this because Law's combos and Law's initiations are already very risky because he doesn't have many. It is very difficult to, to just outsmart your opponent usually with him. But he's very rewarding when you actually pull it off though. Ooh, that's gonna be Uni Clash, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, this is a good opening. Okay, reason to put the ice ball here. It's gonna be a good clean kit. Heavy guard break. Let's go. Characters down. Okay, now we're at the 3v 3v1 now with the Fuji. So uh, remember the guy I was talking about different anchors, and I was like, Fuji can kind of be an anchor as well. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty scary, honestly. Oh, that was scary myself. That's gonna be Unity. Oh. <gasps> Oh, Rio! He needs more! He needs to keep that bar loaded up. That's so scary. He's scared, I can tell. But he was able to get the first kill that he needed. There's the, there's the key he knocked out. Now we got Zoro. Oh! Wow. Okay, so, so technically right now, Fuji can actually still kind of beat this out. He just has to watch out for the Zoro. He's gonna have to use those unseen me. Oh, he got the hit. Oh, this is not good. This might be a kill. Oh, got him. Mm. Okay, well, there you guys go. Uh, Kenna was able to get five wins over Rio with Rio ending it in two. Thank you guys for watching this uh, first to five between Kenna and Rio. Again, sorry about the voice. Still recovering. We're all doing good. I want to say thank you for the fight. You guys did excellent. That was actually a really exciting to watch. Hopefully, everybody who was watching the fight or spectated also enjoyed it as well. I hope you guys had a good show. Remember, if you want to participate in any of the Zone Game & Go uh, videos for One Piece Burning Blood, for um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels, uh, please let me know. We're also trying to do Sword Online over again. And remember, WWE uh, 2022, whatever, that game is going to be an official game for the Zone Game & Go. It's coming out in March, so uh, be sure you check it out. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels is free. You can play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels on your phone, you can play on your Xbox, you can play on your PC, you can play your PS4, and it is cross-played with everybody. So if you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels with us or participate in any event, all you have to do is literally download the game for free on any of those platforms and play with us. The Spectre Mo can literally hold like 50 people. Not, I don't know. I'm just giving you a number. But until then, enjoy playing One Piece Burning Blood.